Hello my friends, welcome to Curiosity Hive. Well in this video, we are going to discuss about data handling and the questions around data handling for the third graders. Now data handling is a very interesting and fun topic. Here we have to understand the numbers by way of images like graphs or pie charts or even simple tabular description. So let's look at this example. Now in this example, we are going to convert this data into different forms that I just showed. So let's start with this tabular information in form of picture, which is called a pictograph. Now this can be converted into a tabular form where I'll put the days alongside and for the number of apples sold, I should first plot the number of apples that are written here. So in Monday, there are six apples, Tuesday, there are three, Wednesday, seven, Thursday, two, Friday, six, and Saturday has 11 apples. Now look at the key, which is the most important thing that the image of the apple is actually equal to two apples. So to get the total number of count of the apples sold, we should multiply each of them with two, and then we can get the actual number of apples sold. The same thing in tabular form can also be depicted as a bar graph where we can plot the number of apples sold as rectangular columns and the days on the x axis whereas the number on the y axis which is the vertical axis. Now once we have this information what are the kind of questions that we can look out for? For example if the question asked is when are the maximum apples sold? That means on what day the number of apples sold are the most. Now clearly from the table we just need to find the highest number which is on Saturday. Similarly if a bar graph is given we just need to look at the highest bar which is again on Saturday and then answer this question. Again other question here could be when is the sales at its worst. Sales at its worst means when is the least number of apples sold. So in the tabular information, we look at the number which is the least that indicates the number of apples sold, which is four that is on Thursday. Similarly, in bar graph, we look at the smallest bar, which will indicate the least number of apples sold. Again, we get the answer Thursday. Now, after this, let's look at another form of data handling where this information in tabular form can also be represented in form of tally or frequency. Now, frequency is nothing but the number of times the item has occurred. For example, the red car, the number of cars is 16. So, we say the frequency of red car is 16, so on and so forth. But there will be times where you will be given the car type and just the tally and you have to find the frequency. So the way to read a tally is this 16 will be highlighted in terms of bars. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, do we go on till 16 bars? No. After 4, the 5th bar will cut across these 4 bars. So this one entire section is for 5 units. So for 16, it is 5 times 3, 15 plus 1. So these 5 units will be depicted 3 more times, making the count 15 plus 1 bar, which is 16. Similarly, for 12, we will first bring in the 5 nodes and then 5 more, which make it 10 and then 2 more, which give 12. For the 5 bar, we can hence it depict it as 4 standing bars and 1 bar cutting across. The black has four number. So the four bars would be one, two, three and four without the bar striking them out. And the orange one has 13 in number. So there will be five first, five again, which make it 10 and then three more bars making the count 13. So there will be times where you'll be just given tally and then questions will be asked. Like what is the difference between the maximum and minimum number of cars? Well, from the table now, the maximum number cars are red, which is 16 and the minimum are 4, which is black. And the difference between the two will give us the answer, which will be 12. Now, other arithmetic questions that could be asked is which car type is three times in number that of black cars? Now, black cars is four in number 
and 3 times this number is 12 and 12 points to the green cars number hence the answer here would be green cars now let's look at the third data conversion which is pie charts for example this table gives us information about the vegetables and the number of boys and girls who like them now let's take this section which is for broccoli and the number of people liking it and this can be plotted as a pie chart such as this where the key tells us what each section of the pie stands for so the question here could be how many more girls like broccoli than boys so the answer would be 5 minus 2 Similarly, the information such as this which gives us the boys and their likings for vegetable can also be depicted as a pie chart such as this. So, you would probably get only this as the question. From here, you have to plot the tabular information and then you can answer the questions. Now, the question here that could be is which is the second most liked vegetable by boys? Well, here you just look at the pie and the second biggest section is that of the yellow one which indicates peas. So, your answer would be peas. So, this is how you would resolve to answering the questions. So, now we have understood all the approaches for the way the data can be depicted which is in form of table or in terms of a tally chart or a bar graph a pie chart and finally in form of a pictogram as is shown here. So these are the kind of approaches we need to take as we solve some of these questions that I threw at you on data handling. If you wish, pause the video, choose your right answer and then match it with mine. So let's get started. The first question reads, the given below chart shows the musical instruments which some children play. Here are some musical instruments and here are the names of the kids. Who plays both piano and drums? In these type of questions, look at the ticks at piano and at drums. So, Ravi has the tick at piano and drums and Neha has the tick around piano and drums. There is another at drums at Bunty but he does not have it for piano. So, our right answer is Ravi and Neha which is option C. Next question continues with the same chart and the question asked is how many children play more than two musical instruments? That means which of the columns has more than two ticks? So Ravi is one of the option. Neha just has two so we do not consider that. Sara has more than two ticks. Bunty has two so we do not consider and Jack also has two because we need to find more than two. So the answer is Ravi and Sara which is option D, two students play more than two instruments. Next question, study the following diagram and answer the questions that follow. Here is a Venn diagram that is given. The first set tells us the number of students who like only English. Second set tells us number of students who like only math. And third set tells number of students who like only science. Now the intersection that is in between it says number of students who like English and math and the ones here are the number of students who like math and science. Now each block is 5 students. How many students like 2 subjects? So that is this as well as this. Now this is 3 blocks and 2 more 5 blocks. So 5 of these blocks into 5 because each block contains 5 students which is equal to 25. So our right answer is option C, 25. Next question. 5 friends made a graph of the number of marks they got in mathematics. These are the marks. These are the students. What is the correct sequence? What is the correct sequence of labels on the picture above in descending order? Now descending is from higher to smaller number. Remember this rule. Based on this, the highest is Sara. So, Sara is 1. Then is Jack. Then is Rani. Then is Ricky. And then is Maya. Which is our answer in option C. Sara, Jack, Rani, Ricky and Maya. 
The next question reads, Lata drew a graph showing the number of star stickers of different colors she has. These are the number of stars and these are the kind of stickers that she has. Now, each star sticker is actually two stars. Which color stars are eight less than the blue colored stars? So, let's look at the blue colored star. There is one, two, three, four and five. So, 5 blue color stars is equal to 5 times 2 because each star sign is equal to 2 stars. That is equal to 10 stars. So, this is the number of blue colored stars. Now, we need to find the color star which is 8 less. That means you reduce 8 from this which will give you 10 minus 8 that is equal to 2 stars. Now, which one has 2 stars? Well, you would think green, but no. Remember, each star is equal to two star. So, your right answer is orange because one star is actually equal to two stars. Hence, your option is option D, orange. Next question. Karen counted the number of different types of cars in her colony. She made a graph to show the data. Now, in this graph, there are two axes. The vertical axis is called the y-axis and the horizontal axis is called the x-axis. Now, along the x-axis is defined the types of cars and on the y-axis is the number of those cars. What do we need to find? What is the total number of cars parked in Karen's colony? Now, to get the total number of cars, all we need to do is sum up all of these bar totals. So, car A, the number of cars is 40. For car B, the number of cars is 28. For car C, the number of cars is 36, is 24. For car E, the number of cars is 32. And for car F, the number of cars is 8. Now, let's sum up. 32 plus 8, well, this is as per the number bond. 8 plus 2 makes 10, so the answer is 40. 24 plus 36, again, a combination of a number bond. 6 plus 4 is 10, 0 carry 1. 2 plus 1, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 60. And the final is 40 plus 28, which is just guiding the tens. That is equal to 68. And the sum of all of these is 40 plus 60 is 100 plus 68 will make it 168. So option C is our right answer. The next question with the same graph asks us to find what is the difference between the maximum number and minimum number of cars parked. Now maximum is the highest bar which is car A which is 40. And minimum is the lowest car, which is car F, which is 8. So, what we need to find is 40 minus 8, which is equal to 32. Hence, our answer is option B, 32. So, this is how we read the question and answer it based on the graph or the picture representation in front of us. I hope you enjoyed the session and also learned what exactly is data handling. Have fun with more of such questions and with all the Olympiad papers and ECAS papers which we have shared with you. If you have any queries, do leave a comment in the comment section below. Till we meet again, take care.